Now, I did watch the clip of Seth Rollins burying CM Junk. Look, man, people need to start taking me, taking me more seriously. I keep on telling you, this guy is a jerk. This guy is a dick. Nobody likes CM Junk. I told you, Roman Reigns don't like him, right? And please, please, please stop bringing up the fact that CM Junk says something positive about Reigns. Um, that's the equivalent of saying, yes, Patrick Mahomes is a great player. What else am I supposed to say? That's like saying, yes, Tom Brady is a great quarterback. Okay, duh. What else am I supposed to say? You know what I'm saying? Who cares if CM Junk says some positive about Roman Reigns? Nobody cares. What else is he supposed to say? There's nothing negative to say about Roman Reigns. What is he doing wrong to say something negative about him? All I heard was political bull crap. That's all. What else was CM Junk supposed to say? What? Reigns sucks? Of course Reigns is having the best year of his life. Who cares? Everybody knows that. Even CM Junk knows that. But that still don't take away the fact that CM Junk was the reason that Roman Reigns got booed for almost a damn decade. Listen, do I have to remind you that CM Junk is the reason why Reigns got booed for almost a decade? It was his fault. Because of that podcast, he exposed Roman Reigns as a Vince McMahon puppet, as a Vince McMahon agenda. And the fans found out about it. And they took CM Junk's side. And they viewed Reigns as a Vince McMahon puppet. Hence why he was being booed. Remember, you must make Roman Reigns look strong. It felt like CM Junk had an issue with it. But he made it a big deal on that podcast with Colt Cabana. Everybody heard it. That exposed Roman Reigns. Because of that podcast, Reigns had to suffer being booed for almost a decade. Nobody liked him. Whose fault was it? CM Junk's fault. So yes, you can see why Seth Rollins don't like him. But here is the main reason why he don't like him. Listen, a couple of years back, Seth Rollins tried to fight CM Junk. He tried to have a match with him at WrestleMania. I think it was what, 2019 maybe? CM Junk was on a show called Backstage, right? On, on Backstage on Fox. Seth Rollins wanted to fight him, right? He wanted to have a friendly match at WrestleMania, right? CM Junk said no, but he he really came off very condescending. He felt like Seth was like kind of beneath him. Go on YouTube. CM Junk actually cut a promo on Seth Rollins on backstage, but. He came off very condescending, like, 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 like Seth wasn't on his level. That was very disrespectful, and that promo was a shoot. He meant every word in that promo. Seth Rollins felt very disrespected, and ever since then, he hasn't talked about him ever since. Because it felt kind of embarrassing for Seth Rollins. Here's Seth trying to pitch a match to fight CM Junk at WrestleMania. CM Junk says no, but he came off like Seth was not on his level. So that's why you saw a clip of Seth Rollins saying CM Junk is a cancer. He's a jerk. Nobody likes him. I'm on Seth's side. I'm on Seth Rollins' side. That side that I'm on. Because I watched that promo. 
CM Junk came off like a damn jerk. Like, he called Seth a damn clout chaser. That's what he called him, really. Not, not word for word, but if you watch that promo on backstage, it felt like CM Junk was calling Seth a clout chaser. Because Seth was trying to fight him at WrestleMania, CM Junk said no. So now you you gonna understand why Seth don't like this guy. Now, to all the idiots that keep saying he was in character, bro, he was not in character. You numbskulls! Anybody anybody who says that does not know about professional wrestling. It's like you gotta get a life. These people are real human beings. Yes. There's people that don't like this guy. Yes, there's no character here. Chris Jericho does not like him. So by your logic, Jericho is in character? No, he don't he don't like him. Roman Reigns said he don't like him. Yes, it's not far-fetched that people do not like this guy. So, so how dare you say Seth was in character? How? How? Seth is a baby face. Let me repeat, he is a face. Last time I checked, CM Junk, he is a face. But why would he be in character if CM Junk works for a different company? What would Seth have to gain by burying CM Junk? if he works for a different company and he's currently under contract. This was real, he don't like him. He bashed another all elite wrestling talent. So yes, this was real, he don't like him. He was not character. What, what will be the point? Seth is a face. He's not pitching any angle to fight CM Junk. He's 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 in a contract with all elite wrestling. So what are you talking about? This was real. These guys got history. Back in 2019, he don't like them. So yes, this was not no character. We need to stop giving excuses, man. It comes off like you're a geek. Like like a damn dork. For you to say Seth wasn't character. He was not in no damn character. It's like, yeah, he said it like you saw him on Raw. But those words were real. He just said it like he's Seth Rollins, but he meant it. Look, man. Let me give you an example. I think that little midget from New York is a damn geek. I think he I think he gets no women. I think he's a little midget who looks like Dane DeVito. Oh no no man, it's cool though. It's cool for me to say it, right? Because I'm a character, right? <laughs> right? I'm playing a walk clyde character. I am a character. I don't I don't mean it, right? No, bitch, I mean it. You know what I'm saying? You can't give the excuse of, oh, I'm in character. Like, I think he is a virgin who gets no women. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I am in character. See what I'm saying? You can't pick and choose when you're in character and when you are not in character. I'm not playing a character. People think I am. I'm not playing no character. So you can't give that excuse. It's either you are it's either you are asshole or you are not. It's like that's that mark bull crap. That's that mark stuff. To say, oh, Seth is in character. What the hell? Like, get a life. Life does not revolve around wrestling 24-7. That is a mark mindset that, bro, you get no women. 
out in these streets. Like, damn, man, it's like, I can get away with murder, really. All I gotta say is, I'm in character? What? So I can punch somebody in their face. And my excuse is, well, it's cool. I'm a, I'm a character, right? So, all the people who watch me, I think you guys are assholes. Oh yeah, it's cool though. I'm in character. I don't mean it, right? Huh? Like, get the hell out of here, man. Like, can we please stop acting like we know these wrestlers on a personal level? I don't, I don't know, I don't know Seth Rollins. I don't know him. I don't know Seth on a personal level. I don't know what's in that man's head. But it is public but it is public knowledge that him and CM Junk have a bad history together. That's a fact. Seth don't Seth don't like him. And there's factual evidence to prove it. He don't like CM Junk. There's videos. There's tweets about it. He don't like them. So how is it far-fetched? That this was real. CM Junk does not work for the WWF. So what character is he trying to push? CM Junk works for a different company. So, what character is he is he, is he trying to push? Like what? Seth meant that. You know why? Because he he knows CM Junk would never step back in the WWF. So he don't care what he says about him. Hence why Rain said CM Junk he ain't no damn draw. I don't like him. He's not John Cena. That's what Roman Reigns said. Can we please stop making the I'm in character excuse? It's not healthy and it's very, very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Why are you dorks keep giving Maxwell a hall pass? So, Maxwell can act like an asshole and it's fine because he's in character. No, bitch. He's not playing a character. I think he's really, really like that. If there's no cameras around, then you have no... You, you, you have no right to act like an asshole, like you were in character. What do you have to gain? So if I meet maybe four or five people, what do I have to gain by playing a character in front of two, three people at a goddamn airport? What do I have to gain by acting like an asshole towards three strangers in a airport how does that get me over i'm known by tons and tons of people how does that benefit me playing a character in front of four or five people at a goddamn airport no you gotta wake the hell up max is not playing a character he's really like that stop it stop with the he's in character excuse that's dangerous. So, so if Max kills somebody, oh, it's it's cool. He's a character, right? So if Max takes your wife, oh, it's cool. He's a character, right? Huh? Well, that's your logic. Hmm? So, if MJF takes your car, it's cool, right? He's in, he's in character. If MJF smashes your girl, it's fine, right? He's in character. <laughs> so stupid. 
So stupid, man. There's no such thing as playing a character if there's no cameras around. If there's no cameras around, I'm not playing a character. I'm being myself. Because I have nothing to gain by playing a character when there's no cameras around. What is there to gain? Nothing. Why would you act like an asshole in front of people that don't know who you are? Bruh, the whole world does not know who Maxwell is. So if he so if he acts like an asshole in a goddamn airport, that means that stranger will think he's a true asshole because that stranger does not know who the hell he is. So get the hell out of here with that crap, man. There's no such thing as playing a character. That's stupid. That's really, really dumb, bruh. Nobody does that. No, bruh, Maxwell is just an asshole. He's not playing a character. Enough with it. Enough with that excuse, man. I'm getting tired of it, actually. It's It comes up like you were a goddamn mark. Let me repeat. If there's no cameras around, that wrestler is out of character. That means he's off the clock. Roman Reigns, when you see him out in public, he's not in character, obviously. So what gives the excuse for Maxwell to be like that? He is like that. He's not playing character. When you see him out in public, that's him. There's no cameras around, bro. Everything comes to light when there's no cameras around. You think Hogan, Warrior, Savage, those guys were not in character when the cameras were off. <laughs> like, what, what are we talking about? You know, do you know the history of professional wrestling? Wrestlers, they only act in character when there's cameras around. Once those cameras are off, if you see Renny Savage at a goddamn grocery store, he is not in character. If you see Hulk Hogan at a goddamn mall with his, with his family, he's not in character. <laughs> like, that's him. That's Terry, right? See what I'm saying? Enough with the excuse with the whole I'm in character crap. Yes, Seth Rollins was not in character. He does not like CM Junk. They got history together. Back in 2019, CM Junk, he threw Seth under the bus. He made Seth act like he was a damn clout chaser. He made Seth seem like he was a clout chaser. Seth did not like that. So that's so, to make a long story short, that clip, that was real. CM Junk, is a cancer no no nobody likes him right so yes seth rollins was not in character that was very very genuine <laughs> okay that was genuine man like you gotta do your history before opening your goddamn mouth which that little midget from europe does not do do your research before saying dumb stuff, bruh. That's it, I'm done.